Dave, and I know we're talking a lot about that haze and the, those fires there on your map show why. Yeah, take a look. You know, uh, there are dozens of fires that are burning from California to Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana here. And the current weather pattern not only is bringing the heat, which we're going to break a record high today, that flow is also getting that smoke, gathering it all up and transporting it right into the Rockies. So from uh, those areas all the way down into Wyoming, Colorado, even the northern part of New Mexico, this smoke is pushing down through. And as a result, the uh, air quality is very poor today. So we have an ozone action alert where we're all asked to limit our driving if we can. And if you have a gas powered mower, maybe put that off if you could let the lawn go for one more day. Uh, and it's unhealthy for sensitive groups. Any breathing problems you might have, uh, you might want to stay in the air conditioning today if you can. Now, 63 right now in Akron. Same thing at DIA this morning. It's 61 in Boulder, mostly 40s in the mountains to start you off this morning. Now, take a look. All the clouds and the isolated storms we had in southern Colorado, those have poof gone away. We're mostly clear across the state as high pressures kind of sloshing back into Colorado here on the big weather map. This high is also keeping the moisture at bay from uh, what is now post tropical Lydia. She was a tropical storm over the Baja uh, over the course of the last couple of days, but it's keeping all that rain down there in southern California and then pushing it uh, out in the Pacific. So no problems there. This uh, will retrograde tomorrow and we'll start to see some cooling, but not today. Look at all the 90s and 100s over the western half of the United States under the influence of that big dome of high pressure. And it's really going to make our temperatures zoom up. We are looking at 90s to near 100 across the eastern plains of Colorado today. Sterling is looking at 100 degrees. 80s in the mountains will be in the 90s out west as well. So uh, as far as uh, cooling goes with clouds and rain this afternoon, doesn't look like we're going to see a lot of that. Maybe some isolated storms in the central and southern mountains here and there, but just a handful. That's going to be it. Everybody else in the sunshine all day long today. Just maybe a few late day clouds. That'll be it. So 97 for the high in Denver today. If that happens, that's a new record. The old record is 95 set in 1995. And then tomorrow, a little cooler for Labor Day. It will bring it by, down by about 10 degrees, 88 degrees, a little more comfortable. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm late in the day. And then 72 on Tuesday with a cold front coming through. And we bounce back into the 80s on Wednesday and Thursday. Normal high this time here is about 84 degrees. So 97 okay. is kind of off the hook, yeah, to this, put it simply. Yeah. Off the hook, off the chain, off all the things. There it's just, go. it's hot. Off the chart. <laughs> off the chart. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe some areas, though, are pushing triple digits. I saw that on your yeah, map. Yeah, up in the north, uh, yeah. east, or yeah, northeast corner. They're just wow. going to go crazy today. All right, maybe mm -hmm. stay inside. Stay cool. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. It is hard to believe the band Blondie started performing to